Hey, how's it going guys, Zerai here. So I wanted to share my full review for the first Descendant. Now I want to be up and honest about this game. Even though this is a free to play game, so a lot of things we can excuse. But the, some of the things that are present within here, I'm sorry, I have to put this in a very bad category. Now, of course, I will get into the good, the bad and all that great stuff. But, you know, I have to talk about the very first thing, what really incentivizes you of getting within this game, right? It is the monetization, it is the microtransactions and the variety and so much that you can make the purchase of. Even the end game things and cosmetics and also uh, including, for example, like consumables or some of the things that you can actually pick up only in the end game if you play it naturally with not paying anything, of course, but then you look up, look up on the store and you can actually make that purchase and you'll be thinking, wait, really? What's the point of this? Like, why can't I grind for this? myself you know some of the things they need to like pause and think about should we put this on the store or should we not but instead Nexon just basically put everything into the store and you can pretty much buy anything there's a lot of ways of actually kind of like making yourself stronger but nevertheless it's just straight up saying okay if you pay, uh, pay us this much amount of money you will level up 20 levels other than of course in the battle pass you can do that so well, i think there's like 25 levels in battle pass but i'm not talking about explicitly that you will automatically get just stronger like that there are i'm purposely doing it so that you invest more time into this game so you get gradually and quickly get stronger so the, for example there's double xp triple xp uh, to an extent right like about 30 percent of experience boost that you can actually gain for like a matter of uh, limited amount of time on specific descendants at specific times so if you want to for example level up your weapons faster uh, yeah you actually have to make a purchase on that component so there's just the way they're done very very greedy it's just one of the an examples i've really like this is inexcusable and i have to like give it an automatic minus point for this game the way that, that they have done the cosmetics in terms of the purchasing right so basically all the cosmetics you can purchase them for example you as bunny you're playing as a descendant the character is bunny there's like a very cool cosmetic look that you want to purchase for her she has a unique suit and then you will uh, notice that okay this looks unique but I feel like I want to change my color. You have to purchase that specific color. Say you want that white color. You'll have to make that purchase. And then you also have to make that purchase of the white color for specific parts of the armor. And what's worse, you don't keep that color. And you only keep that color on this one descendant and for this one equipment. It's like, what were they thinking? If you change your equipment and you want that color back, you'll have to buy a white color again. What? Okay, it's just very greedily done, it's very badly. Now, I, I have heard also Nexon's having big problems with like millions of dollars or owning that they they needed to do something think about like six, seven months ago. I do not know all the, all the detail. This video is about, you know, this first Descendant review, my thoughts included. Now, of course, even though everything that I, me I have already mentioned regarding of the bad things in the first Descendant, there are some good things. As an example, the grappling hook mechanic really works. I really appreciate it. It does make it look unique and cool. I personally feel that they need to ex extend the range, though. And yet, also, there's some kind of limitations I'm noticing as well. Well, I think this might be just the polish of the game, but sometimes I get kind of stuck in terrains. But it's not as bad because you are very, very mobile characters like you have here. So it's no, it's not really a big problem. I just wanted to mention it in here for me. Yeah, at least that's what I kind of got in. Uh, I just wanted to mention it anyway, anyway. So the characters, the world, everything looks fantastic. It looks really, really good. And, uh, you know, everything is a looker. Even the environments, the worlds, they do look good, even though they're, well, fucking bland. All you do really in this game is going from patrol to patrol to patrol to patrol missions. That's it. And now, occasionally, there's like main strikes, right? Just to say that Destiny reference, of course, here. 
so you'll be doing some strike missions and then occasionally you can also get into a specific cutscenes. The cutscenes are highly done other than the voice acting. Some of the voice acting isn't very well performed and especially the lip syncing is god awful. I don't know what they were thinking. What, what? Like I, I noticed this issue even while I was playing this game in a beta mode like back in like nine months ago or so and I still cannot believe that they haven't fixed this issue. What were they doing? What were they doing? Seriously. Oh, it's kind of disappointing, like such a wasted opportunity there. And uh, nevertheless, the story sucks. The guys don't even bother playing this game for the story. Skip every cutscene. Check out some of the cool cutscenes that they have made here. They do look unique and they look pretty, but um, just ignore what they say. It's completely garbage and irrelevant. Now, it has great shooting mechanics. I really appreciate it as well. So many mechanics, so many things that you can do, and especially you can have different uh, abilities for specific descendants or characters, aka characters. And of course, it means like you have an advantage over something, as an example, like the bosses uh, that you can intersect. And basically, uh, this boss could be specifically about all the chill or the cold, and you'll have to be resilient to it. So, obviously, some of the characters are going to have a major con and pros. Uh, depends, of course, again, what you choose. So, yeah, there's an RPG system here that I think maybe many people will appreciate. So, this basically, you have to do a little bit of a tinkering, if that makes sense. But again, this game is a grind fest. It's like a looter shooter, through and through. So, basically, you have to find these components, these uh, things that makes you stronger because you'll have to upgrade anything really within this game. Like, you really have to invest into it. Now, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing, but the way they do it is very badly and incentivized. One of the main things that I got completely stuck, uh, it's from a boss named Dead uh, Bride, and she is all about the cold, right? I made sure that my Bonnie character has resilience to cold, and also just there's a recommendation, it's like 1,600 chill thing whatever resilience recommended i already had that equipped but still it doesn't matter because uh even if i have my weapons all deal uh, fire damage it just doesn't matter because if you play this in public and your level is low you won't be able to kill the specific boss in the time that is designated and there's like about i think it's like i don't remember 10 minutes or something so i had to retry like four or five times and then i finally got it but at that uh, at that point when i finished like killing this boss i was like already completely drained out of this game and i just did not want to play any more of it and i was like really really like cont contemplating thinking about should i even bother continue playing this shit because it was not good anymore this game got me very very bored because the way that the structure and missions are done very it's extremely repetitive it's not a good thing it's just that it's just pacing included what's going on with that one moment is occasional like stupid decisions in the story you would be thinking what well, what's going on here and then one other moment you go do these patrol missions and then there's a strike mission and you have to kill a random boss that just has no relevance to the story it's awful it's very badly done story giant minus like it's a one out of ten it's nothing special just make sure you skip that shit just enjoy the cutscenes like already mentioned so okay so one other thing there is a possibility that this game may hook you and that will be good especially if you're looking forward to something like a loader shooter this game could be it this game could actually grab grip you it almost did for me like i already mentioned in my first impressions video but Honestly, honestly, no. This game is a very, very heavily incentivized of you making sure that you make some sort of a purchase. And because of this, I got completely turned off from this game. So I'm not even gonna continue playing this game. I had a good time with it to an ex some extent. Like even my first impressions video, you perhaps already have, may have heard that I was a lot more positive about this game. But until after I kept on playing, 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 yeah, I noticed how repetitive the game is, how bad the story is, and how like it really incentivizes you making sort of a purchase for this game. And on top of that, these purchases are like three to four to twenty times more expensive than anything out of all of the console games out there. Wow. It, this just doesn't excuse this even being a free-to-play game because it's not excusable for this amount of money that you'll have to make a purchase of. No, no thank you. Alright guys, that's all I wanted to mention. Yeah, the game is a, it's a disappointment, honestly. But nevertheless, I still had to, like I mentioned, I already had some, to an extent, some fun. 
yeah, if I would have to give it a score, I'd give it like maybe a 4 out of 10. It's nothing special. It's just a bad, like a, a nice quote. A bad game. That's it. It really is that. Now, I'm sure you can, you may have fun, some fun with it. But again, just be careful because they can really just, like make your wallet dry. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. See you guys all and have a wonderful day.